Nation, welcome back to my channel, it's your boy D Dyson. And episode six of Loki, we pick up where Ravonna Renslayer and Miss Minutes is sitting at the Citadel at the end of time. And Miss Minutes basically plays a rendition video of what the recording that we heard in episode, I believe it was like episode two, or episode one, um, of He Who Remains and Ravonna Renslayer of how he was thanking her and congratulating her for ending the war and helping him end the war uh, with all the multiversal kings and basically building the TVA. And Miss Menace was like, man, you know, because Ravonna Renslayer doesn't remember what happened, but Miss Menace kind of gets her up to date of, okay, you helped him with everything. And as you went to the TVA, he erase everyone's memory so i'm the only one that has access to it i'm the only one that understands it and knows it so she's like it's going to make you angry that that's what he did and then basically miss minutes and ravonna renslayer is like well i don't think we really need him we could just you know build the tva by ourselves." so that's what their mission was and then fast forwards to loki and mobius of how they're trying to fix the temporal loom and have it victor timely and or Boris meet each other and they kind of look at each other like, well, you know, I, I learned everything I knew from a guy named Victor Timely and turns out that they kind of knew each other. Sylvie had that look like, especially when they shook hands, it's like, I wanted to meet the person that wrote the TVA handbook and OB is kind of like, well, I wanted to meet the person that uh, actually made the whole thing. And, and that's why she's kind of like looking like something doesn't seem right. And it's basically making Victor Timely like a person where he was the one that really started it all and basically a central clock wheel that he who remains has sent. Like he's already seen it of what he needs to do. So going into this, they're trying to figure out how to fix the time loom. Uh, and as Victor Timely is like, okay, well, I'll help this and I'll help them. Ravonna Renslayer and Miss Menace go into the quarters where the general and Brad is at and kind of make a proposition of, hey, you know, you guys need to help me. I'll set you guys free and I'll put you guys back to any timeline that you want. So that enticed Brad, like, you know, if you help me, you can go back to being an actor. And the general with all the other, you know, flunkies basically was like, no, I don't care about that. You know, you're only doing this to help yourself. So what Miss Minutes does is put them in a box and smush them. And you can see off of the, off of Miss Minutes' face, She's kind of enjoying it, like, yeah, I just did that. So she's looking more and more like the villain of this season. Like, she has a lot of things up her sleeve to to do that. But I feel like it's a part of He Who Remains is the one who wrote her. So it's, it's she's a part of He Who Remains, of the villainous Kang. So that's why I said, I'm like, I feel like she's a variant of Kang. And helping Ravonna Renslayer and and Ravonna Renslayer not really understanding, you know, what to do, but she's just like, I'm just trying to, you know, take Victor Timely and hey, you're going to help us and not help them. And Loki kind of, and Loki and Sylvia's like, man, where, where did Victor Timely go? And they're kind of scrambling to go find him. And eventually when they do, they have to look at it like, okay, the temporal loom is, is really about to implode. We were running out of time. So as they do so, we get to find out who was on the other line of that phone call. And I think episode one or two, when, you know, Raven, uh, uh, Sylvia was looking at him like, man, there you are. And Loki's like looking around and the phone is ringing. So it's kind of like, you're kind of figuring out what's going on. And then you see Loki getting prone, especially in the trailer. And then we're like, who did what? Which is the a previous Loki pruned himself to stay in that in time so we're still trying to figure out what happened and why did he prune himself and you get a, another shot of uh, victor timely going out there to try to go out there to fix the temporal loom and as soon as he does he evaporates into spaghetti so we're kind of like whoa that's crazy that he dies or do we do we think that he dies so that's what i'm telling myself i'm like is that a version of victor timely that's a variant of victor timely that dies but there's another variant of Victor Timely that may come. So, and Loki is also another variant, but Loki is still trying to figure out what's going on. And then as Victor Timely dies, they're all kind of like the, the temporal loom really does implode. So it goes black after that. We don't really know what's going on, but I was like, okay, yeah, this is definitely left on a huge cliffhanger. 
And I'm not sure how many episodes this season is going to have, but I think probably next episode will be the last episode. So um, I enjoyed Jonathan Majors as Kang, as Victor Timely uh, in this season. It kind of progresses the story of the multiverse of what's going on. And I think after this next episode, that's really going to be setting forward uh, what's going to happen as far as the multiverse saga, because only Loki would know after this and i feel like I'm probably another season of loki and then we're really going to get into the multiverse saga with the kang dynasty of what kang has in store for all of marvel and i'm here for it so you guys enjoyed my review of loki episode six if you guys enjoyed my review of loki episode six subscribe to my channel post a comment down below and like the video it's your boy D. Dyson. Peace.